Hey there, guys. James Lasher here, Master Financial Planner, CEO of Lasher Financial Consultant. Uh, we have been doing a little bit of a mini series, uh, Life Insurance Basics 101. All right, so we talked about what was similar with life insurance. We also talked about term insurance. Today, we're going to be talking about whole life insurance policies, whole life insurance policies. These are the policies uh, from back in the days. Your, your mama, your papa, your grandpa, your grandma probably had these. Uh, many people uh, know about uh, whole life policies because that's what Walt Disney used to push off Disney World. So whole life insurance policies, um, we wanna talk about three main characteristics of a whole life policy. Now remember, these policies have their different nuances. So keep that in mind, right? Um, the first thing about whole life is that whole life is for your whole life, right? What does that mean? Unlike a term policy that has a term and then ends, a term and then ends, and a term and then the price gets a little bit more expensive. Whole life doesn't do that. Whole life, you pay the same amount every month or every year for the rest of your life. It's whole life policy, it stays with you for your whole life. It doesn't change, it's there. You get what you get, right? So if you pay $25 a month for $100,000, $200,000, and you got the policy at age 19, well, you're paying for that policy and the, the price doesn't change. Which brings me to my second thing. The second thing about whole life policies in comparison to many of the other policies that are out there is one of the most expensive types of policies to have. You see, there's a cost of insurance and there's uh, policy charges that are there. Um, it, it tends to be a little bit more on the pricey side if we're just doing a dollar cost average of uh, the different types of policies you can have and the benefits that you can receive out of those policies. So uh, whole life, you know, got its start long time ago and people just loved it because it built the cash value. So that's the third thing that you should know about whole life policies. Whole life policies, they have a cash value. I mean that you can pay on your policy over the years, over the years, and on average about 2.5% quarterly in most policies, some a little bit more, some have a guaranteed 1%. Uh, those policies grow and there's a cash value available there. And depending on what type of policy you have, you can either take a withdrawal of that cash value, it may decrease the uh, death benefit, or you can take a loan from it, it won't immediately decrease the death benefit, but upon death, if you don't pay that loan back, it can decrease the death benefit of your policy. So that's whole life in a nutshell. Those, uh, uh, th those are the characteristics of a whole life policy. And as we talked about uh, in our first video, in our mini series, uh, what's similar about all of these life insurance policies we're talking about? Well, the biggest thing is, is that with the DOL rule, if you have a higher enough, ca uh, a higher enough death benefit, you can use the DOL rule of 2017 to access death benefit prior to death within a whole life policy. Now, can you do it in a term policy? Well, some policies don't allow that, um, depending if you have the old kind or the new kind, but as we speak right now, the whole life policies, uh, if you got chronic illness, critical care, terminal illness, uh, critical injury, you can approach your life insurance company and get some of that death benefit now for whatever you want to use it from. And yes, that is tax free. So that's whole life in a nutshell. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. I uh, hope you learned something new. Um, if there's any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment box. But more importantly, don't keep this information for yourself. Please like and share this video. I uh, look forward to answering more of you guys' questions. It is all about others. Look forward to seeing you guys in our next video. Take care.